Hi, my name is Randy L. Noble. I'm a Christian author and a human rights activist for Iranians, and welcome to The Cross in the Desert, Speaking Hope and Freedom to Iran. I want to show you a picture. Beautiful family, isn't it? This is 37-year-old Nazanin Ratcliffe and her husband Richard and their young, beautiful daughter, Gabriella. And just take a look at that picture. They look like a very happy family. Well, right now, their happiness has been shattered, and I'll tell you why. Nazanin went to visit her parents in Iran. Now, she is a dual citizen. She is a citizen of the UK, and she visits her parents in Iran, but she doesn't work there. She works for Thomson Reuters, which is a charitable organization. Back at the beginning of April, as she went to Iran to visit her parents, she was arrested and detained by the Revolutionary Guard. And the charges brought against her were national security, that she was doing something to jeopardize national security of Iran. She was promptly arrested and put in solitary confinement without any access to a lawyer. Now her, her husband Richard says it is now nearly two months since I saw or held my little girl. I cannot get her back. Her passport is confiscated. I have no visa, and I have been advised not to try and go to Iran. You ask yourself the question, why would a young wife and mother be detained in Iran for acting against national security? We don't know that. But this has been a common practice with those who have dual citizenships. The Revolutionary Guard or the Iranian regime is always suspicious that because they have these dual citizenships that they're spies or they're doing something to act against national security. This is a horrible situation. When you look at this picture of this wonderful family, what all this woman was doing was visiting her mother in Iran and that she was detained, arrested, with no access to a lawyer and put into solitary confinement. It is heart-wrenching. What I would ask you to do in this short meeting together with us is please go to my Facebook page right now and you will see a petition that you can sign and be a voice for Nazanin's freedom. Over 62,000 people have already responded. Her husband Richard has been very active. This petition goes to David Cameron, the Prime Minister of the UK. So please do this for Nazanin's freedom. Let's be a voice of hope and freedom for Nazanin so that this beautiful lady can smile once again and be with her husband and child together as a normal family trying to live life as best as possible. God bless you. Thank you very much for responding and being a voice of hope and freedom for Nazanin.